You're here for a purpose. It is not a mere coincidence. The cosmic forces must have brought you here. You might be the child of the universe. So pay close attention, because what I'm about to share with you about power and magic has the potential to change your existence forever. It's up to you what you choose to do with this sacred knowledge. So join me until the end in this intricate exploration for the power that lies within each one of us and how to control this miraculous ability in your favor. So let us begin. Have you ever felt a strange sensation when someone stared at you intensely from behind? Or felt a cozy, reassuring vitality when clasping a loved one's hand? These subtle yet profound encounters suggest the presence of an internal power that dwells within each of us. The sages of antiquity used to call this spiritual energy sorcery. Yes, actual sorcery, not merely a figure of speech. Contemporary science now recognizes what ancient civilizations have always understood, that energy is synonymous with sorcery. The belief in a dormant power within each individual can be traced back to many ancient civilizations and traditions. Here's how a few of them viewed this concept. The Egyptians believed in the concept of Ka, which represented the vital force or energy that resided within each individual. They believed that awakening and harnessing this energy could lead to spiritual enlightenment and power. Additionally, the intricate process of mummification was believed to preserve the Ka for the afterlife, highlighting their deep spiritual connection to the concept of life force. Greek philosophers, such as Plato, taught that humans possess innate knowledge and wisdom within their souls. They believed that through introspection and the pursuit of truth, one could unlock this inner wisdom and achieve enlightenment. Furthermore, the Oracle of Delphi, a revered figure in ancient Greece, was consulted for guidance and wisdom, showcasing the importance of seeking inner truths. Hinduism has the concept of Kundalini, a dormant spiritual energy that resides at the base of the spine. Awakening this energy through spiritual practices, such as meditation and yoga, is said to lead to heightened consciousness and the realization of one's divine nature. In addition, the ancient texts of the Vedas and Upanishads provide profound insights into the nature of the self and the universe, guiding individuals on their spiritual journey. Taoist teachings emphasize the importance of cultivating and balancing one's qi, or life energy. By aligning with the natural flow of energy, known as the Tao, individuals can access their inner power and achieve harmony with the universe. The practice of Tai Chi, a form of moving meditation, is a manifestation of this belief in harmonizing your Qi to promote health and spiritual well-being. The Mayans believed in the power of human consciousness and its connection to the cosmic order. They practiced various rituals and ceremonies to align with cosmic energies and awaken the divine potential within themselves. Additionally, the Mayan calendar, known for its precision and complexity, reflects their deep understanding of cosmic cycles and the interconnectedness of all life forms. In conclusion, the possibility of unlocking one's divine power is a topic that intertwines every single person, nation and religion in the world. The fascination for discovering new internal layers within oneself is a common and recurrent theme among every present and extinct culture that has had the blessing to exist on our planet. By analyzing the teachings of the wise, we can apply proven methodology into our everyday lives. The paths of yogis and bodhisattvas, rooted in Eastern philosophies and practices, offer profound insights into the nature of existence and the unlocking of inner potential. Yogis embody a discipline that harmonizes mind, body and spirit, while bodhisattvas exemplify compassion and selfless service towards all beings. According to Paramahansa Yogananda, the greater the will, the greater the flow of energy. The greater the flow of energy, the greater the magnetism. This quote highlights the importance of willpower in manifesting one's desires and achieving success. Yogananda emphasizes that the strength of one's will can determine the level of energy and effort one puts into their endeavors. In this context, willpower refers to the ability to focus one's thoughts and emotions towards a specific goal and to persevere in the face of obstacles. When one's will is strong, they are more likely to overcome challenges and achieve their objectives. 
Conversely, a weak will can lead to procrastination, self-doubt, and a lack of progress. Yogananda's quote also suggests that the flow of energy is directly related to the strength of one's will. When one's will is strong, they are able to tap into a greater source of energy and motivation, which can help them overcome obstacles and achieve their dreams. Similarly, the bodhisattvas from ancient India looked to find enlightenment in practices aimed at cultivating powerful qualities over weak qualities, including morality, self-sacrifice, altruism and wisdom, drawing their thoughts and actions into a state similar to that of the Buddha himself. According to Mahayana Buddhism, the universe is filled with a vast array of potential Buddhas, known as bodhisattvas, who have committed themselves to attaining enlightenment for the benefit of all sentient beings. These bodhisattvas span a wide spectrum, from those just beginning their spiritual journey to those who have spent countless lifetimes cultivating wisdom, compassion and supernatural abilities. The Mahayana tradition holds that these celestial bodhisattvas, though not yet fully enlightened Buddhas, possess wisdom, compassion and powers that are functionally equivalent to those of Buddhas. Their boundless compassion drives them to tirelessly assist ordinary beings. Their profound wisdom guides them in the most skillful means of doing so, and their accumulated spiritual powers enable them to act in miraculous ways to alleviate suffering and lead beings to awakening. The yogis and bodhisattvas, through dedicated practice and profound spiritual insight, have unlocked dormant powers within themselves. By delving deep into the practices of yoga and meditation, yogis purify their minds and awaken energies that enable them to transcend limitations. Through the awakening of kundalini energy, yogis attain extraordinary abilities known as the astasiddhis, even before full enlightenment. Bodhisattvas, on the other hand, embark on a path of selfless service, morality and wisdom, developing qualities that transcend human capabilities. Through deep meditation and austerity, yogis and bodhisattvas tap into energies that grant them control over the environment, enabling them to survive extreme conditions and perceive the universe differently. Manly P. Hall, the renowned Canadian writer and mystic, has left an indelible mark on the world of esoteric philosophy and spiritual wisdom. His seminal work, The Secret Teachings of All Ages, published when he was just 27 years old, has become a timeless classic inspiring generations of seekers and scholars alike. In this seminal work, Hall delves deep into the esoteric significance of the human body and its connection to the divine cosmic energy that permeates the universe. Hall believed that the ancient mystery schools were privy to profound teachings about the nature of the human soul and its relationship to the one God that governs all creation. One of the key themes explored in Hall's book is the idea that the human body is a microcosm of the macrocosm, a living temple that reflects the beauty, magnificence and splendor of the universe itself. Through the study of symbolism and esoteric anatomy, Hall suggests that we can unlock the hidden secrets of our own energetic and spiritual nature and tap into the wellspring of divine power that lies dormant within us. The ancient occult teachings discussed in The Secret Teachings of All Ages often involve the cultivation and direction of subtle inner energies known as prana, chi or life force. Through practices such as meditation, breathwork and the use of sacred symbols, initiates were said to be able to harness these energies for healing, spiritual growth and the attainment of extraordinary powers. Hall also delves into the mysteries of the celestial bodies and their influence on the human energy field. He explores the idea that the planets and stars are not just distant objects in the sky, but living, breathing entities that interact with our own subtle bodies in profound and complex ways. By understanding these cosmic influences and learning to align ourselves with the rhythms of the universe, Hall believed that we could unlock our full potential as spiritual beings and manifest our deepest desires and intentions. In the end, the secret teachings of all ages serves as a powerful reminder of the inherent dignity and divinity of the human soul. By embracing the teachings of the ancient mystery schools and cultivating a deep reverence for the beauty and complexity of the human body, we can embark on a transformative journey 
of self-discovery and spiritual awakening. Through the mastery of our own inner energies and the alignment of our consciousness with the cosmic forces that shape our reality, we can truly become the masters of our own destiny and the architects of a better world for all. In the timeless wisdom of the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, the legendary sage unveils a profound truth about the nature of human power and potential. Thoth speaks of the seven lords who sit in the dark recesses and guide humanity to the knowledge of all, revealing that the key to acquiring wisdom, knowledge and power lies in pursuing it in the heart of the flame, the very core of our being. This enigmatic passage suggests that the origin of our internal power, our innate capacity for transformation and transcendence, resides not in the external world, but in the concealed flame that burns within each of us. But what is this covert flame, and how can we access the wellspring of energy and potential that it represents? In many spiritual traditions, the heart is perceived as the seat of the soul, the center of our existence, where the divine spark resides. By turning our attention inward and connecting with the wisdom of the heart, we can commence tapping into the infinite reservoir of power that dwells within us. This is the path of the mystic, the seeker who dares to venture beyond the confines of the ego and plunge into the depths of their own being. One approach to connecting with the heart of the flame is through the practice of meditation. By stilling the mind and focusing our attention on the heart center, we can foster a sense of warmth, expansiveness and inner radiance. As we learn to quiet the chatter of the mind and surrender to the stillness within, we open ourselves to the subtle energies that flow through us, awakening the power that lies dormant within our being. Another method for unlocking the power of the soul is through the practice of energy work. By learning to sense and manipulate the flow of life force energy within and around us, we can cultivate a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness of all things. Through techniques such as breath control, visualization, and the use of sacred symbols and objects, we can awaken the dormant powers that reside within, harnessing them to transform our lives and the world around us. As we embark on this journey into the heart of the flame, we must be prepared to confront the shadows that lurk within, the fears and limiting beliefs that have kept us bound to the confines of the ego. For it is only by facing these inner demons, by embracing the full spectrum of our humanity, that we can truly unlock the power of the soul and become the alchemists of our own destiny. In the words of Thoth, wouldst thou gain knowledge of power? Seek ye it in the heart of the flame. Wouldst be one with the heart of the flame? Seek then within thine own covert flame. For it is here, in the very core of our being, that the secrets of the universe lie waiting to be discovered, the keys to our own transformation and the transformation of the world. At the core of unlocking your internal power lies a fundamental shift in how you approach life, with a sense of awe, curiosity and openness. By staying present and aligning yourself with the subtle energies and possibilities that surround you, you can begin to access the boundless potential that resides within. Whether through structured practices like mindfulness and chanting, or simple acts of gratitude and connection in your daily experiences, the magic within you is ever-present, ready to be acknowledged and expressed. By quieting the mind and turning inward, you invite the whispers of intuition, the guidance of your higher self and the transformative energy of the universe to flow through you. As you embark on this journey of internal empowerment, it becomes clear that the path of awakening and growth is an ongoing process requiring patience, commitment and a willingness to embrace the unknown. Yet the rewards are profound. By embracing your inner magic and living authentically, you become a source of light and inspiration for those around you, contributing to a world that is more compassionate, imaginative and alive. I just want to say thank you for reaching 1,000 subscribers and also thank you for keeping me motivated to continue making these videos for all of you. May the Creator bless each one of you with infinite prosperity and abundance.